Asalaamu Alaikum. Welcome back to the protest action in Cape Town. With me now, one of the ANC members, the regional uh, secretary as well. Good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon to you, Alan. And then. Thanks very much for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, the protest action just ended. What does this type of protest action mean to you individually and maybe to the party, the ANC? Uh, this type of action to me as a person, also both as an organization, the meaning is the same. Because as a country, we suffered the same way the Palestinian people have suffered. Apartheid Israel, that's what we have experienced here as a country. Human rights are boundless because the ANC fought for human rights, not only for South Africans, for everyone in the world mm -hmm. to enjoy human rights. Okay, and uh, it's actually very important for the community to come out in support as well. The action that Hamas took. Uh, it was definitely a need that they just had way too much of living in one of the open air prisons, biggest open air prisons in the world. What are your thoughts? Yes, that is correct. You see, what is apartheid Israel is doing to the people of Palestine? In no way that can be justified. This occupation of more than, as it was explained, even here, more than 100 years that has been taking place is inhumane is not right, is against the laws of international. We are surprised as a ANC, even as me as a person, that why the ICC is not declaring this, as it was declared as a, as a crime against humanity. Why Benjamin Netanyahu is not called upon to appear before the ICC to answer for these humorous crimes. Yeah. It seems like a lot of the youth have come out in support of uh, Palestine as well. Surely that's a clear indication that they have a clear understanding of what's going on? Yes, they've got a clear indication because they are reading through the internet, through the news, and also the experience of South Africa is still fresh, even amongst the youth. They've seen what the apartheid have done, the birthmarks of apartheid is still living with us today. For us, as it was even said by our former president, Nelson Mandela, that we will not be free, we will not enjoy our freedom unless Palestinians are also free. Every nation in the world is having a right to be free, to self-determination, to self-rule, to be independent. Yeah. Thank you so much for chatting to us. Have a great afternoon. Thank you very much. For Hilal TV, I'm Lukman Shadrach.